Some to get hungry afterwards. It's not super important at the moment. Again, none of you have high enough. You have like no compliance right now. 47, 48 on you. How long does this take? Ah, it's almost done. That'll be ready soon. I've, I have noticed that we basically have uh That we, we just do not have... Um... Any research slots? In Finland, it's 8 a.m. Do we need any of this garbage? I don't think so. I think we save our political power for the war. That we can, um... Boost up Austrian... Or boost up our... Manpower, and we can boost up to back up the war economy. I think that makes sense. More so than what we have otherwise. Clients' growth speed goes up, crew population goes up. More stability, because our penalty is absolutely, absolute dog shit. It's so bad. Who's this? Oh, that's Egypt. Venezuela joined the Adin Pact. Ecuador joined the Adin Pact. Good for them. Not too sure how that's going to play out in the grand scheme of things, but we'll find out soon. Yeah, because you're still a puppet of uh, Austria. Luckily, Austria is status quo. So, um... They will not unify their lands, which actually makes them significantly weaker. Status quo Austria, I, I think, is probably the weakest Austria. Okay, let's abolish Habs Habsburg military codes, or legal codes. Yeah, and then after that, they should, yeah, the man also reign 55 days. Australian, here is 3.05 p.m. It, it, it's always interesting, just, like, how many people around the world can, wa can like, just tune into a stream and just kind of watch it, you know? That, the land down under. You know, we still have never actually played Australian Kaiserreich. We, we probably should get on that at some point. I don't know how we've gone so long without playing Australia. Apparently they're also national populist. Yeah, the Qing are at war with a lot of people. Probably see the Japanese intervene in that war very, very soon. Have 17 out of 42 on you. Oh, we actually have our first tank. Let's go. Send them into uh, Orange Army. Do it. We have somebody from Austria. Austria. Australia. Going from Finland. Um, where, where else is everybody else from? Um... He said another timeout as, as well. Austrial concerns. Three dockyards. One more, one more submarine, please, and thank you. Yeah, the Aussie Reich. A lot of Democratic Party, the Socialist Party. I am from India. See, like every 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 time zone. I'm guessing this this kind of really late night stream for me probably does benefit people who live in like Australia or Europe. I mean, I, uh, Europe, in in Europe, I guess it would be like what? I guess 8 a.m. is be a little bit early for a stream. Okay, let's construct a national myth. Keep on boosting the imperfect union to not being dog shit. 2.5% of recruit population. You're actually really nice. I would really like to have you on my side. Maybe that's kind of like a weird way to phrase it. But I, I like that national focus. Please, thank you. Yeah, also, the rain's almost ready to go. You're crushing German hegemon. And that'll be ready in a time. I don't know when exactly. And are you missing tanks? You know what? The ones that don't have tanks yet. Don't even worry about them. We also don't have tank. Oh, 
Well, you all into the front line. We're going to see a 6.1,000 rifles. Oh, you just have no manpower. That's kind of a problem, I would say. Um, for, for obvious reasons. 268. That's, that would be nice for us to integrate more territory. But again, none of the territory in my country wants to be integrated right now. I, they all really don't like me. Let's like, you know, let's go for the civilian factories right now in the middle of Bulgaria. Yeah, I think that seems like a completely reasonable, uh, excuse me, a completely reasonable decision here. I wonder if, you know what, we might actually just play this campaign until it's actually over. I mean, the way I'm looking at it, I don't think the Second Field Creek should last that long with a Russian, French, Yugoslavian intervention. Like, it's gonna be on, like, they're gonna be fighting on so many fronts. National Coalition of Viewers. Love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. And how much you guys have? You guys right now are on 11. You guys right now are on 10. Decent numbers. Decent numbers. Okay, we have to wait until Russia to intervene. Because Russia right now has three, 30 to 228. So we have we basically have no idea how many men they have. Let's form our agency. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. So what are you? You are industry techs. I mean, industry techs are nice to have. There's 16 days left on you. After that, we're going to go for a recruit population modifier. Nice. I think the AI has basically pulled their entire army off of our front line. Is anybody? I mean, there's only 10 viewers, so I'm not too sure how many people from Africa would be watching. I mean, we, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody from like Nigeria or South Africa might be watching. But it's a, it's a definitely a little bit rarer. One unit here in Pola. You can see the French are already pushing their way into Alice's Lorraine. So you know what? We're, we're going to do a, a quick little save. Just in case we completely shit the bed. I think it's time for us to subjugate Hungary. We'll probably see Hungarian and Austrian troops approach the front line soon. I mean, this is what? It's a 14 day, which is actually not that long. And we can do the same thing we did before, which is just not call in Romania, but I think we do want to call in Romania this time around. They got a pretty decent sized army themselves. I mean, I guess Russia hasn't intervened quite yet. Maybe I should have waited till for, for their intervention. Actually, interestingly enough, only Hungary is actually showing up to the front line. Austria has not so far. Okay, we can actually integrate two of these provinces now. Yeah, we can do war propaganda, but I don't think it's necessary. Uh, let's go for improved artillery. We really, we, we should have waited until Russia was in the war. But that's okay. They actually like no national spirits. Why are they, why are they so few? I don't really know. And I want everybody basically attacking on day one. The Air Force should be flying over Transylvania. I'll probably boost you up. Let's say let's put you up to the full 600. It'll boost you up to the full 400. Flavia, we've declared war on Romania. Or we've declared war on Hungary, I should say. Austria now joined in the war as well. Riga's declared war on Latvia, which actually means that... Wait. No. Sony won't join because they're in the same faction together. The Austrian troops moving their way over here. Russia has now uh, invaded as well. Absolutely love to see it. Hey, look, all of Romania... Romania's got all this land for free. That's nice. I'm not too sure why they did, but they did. Still not at war with this guy. We're not at war with uh, Ukraine either right now. I 
let's take over this area. This is on the Rice Pack. The Italian Federation is on the Rice Pack. Okay, okay. And now we have an agency. We're immediately going to send that agent. Well, we don't have the agent quite yet. But when we get the agent, we're going to send it to Germany, obviously. Okay, you're, you're fighting a pretty big war. The non aggression packs, everyone else can join the war as well. I think that seems more than reasonable. Get a Hell of Intelligence. Can't become a spy master quite yet, which is unfortunate. And are we at war with you yet? Technically, no. Technically, not. Okay, and we're gonna draw your line out like that. You position yourself to where you need to be. I might as well declare war on you. And then we can draw this line out. Yeah, like this. Then that army can basically just be directly incorporated into this front. But you're doing a good job before. Keep on, keep the pressure up. We love to see it. We love to see it. I mean, we're looking at Germany right now. They're fighting many, 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 many people. War propaganda against Germany. I mean, we already have 100% war propaganda, so I think that seems completely reasonable. And why do you keep not... Your troops here. Romania, how many men they had? They have 11 units, which, I mean, I can take the Romanian and the um, Greek forces for myself. Also, don't be on very aggressive, just be on normal aggressive for right now. I think that seems more than okay. And again, Poland hasn't joined the side. We might see Poland still join up with the Russians, and Poland joining up with the Russians, I think, is good for us. And it's gonna warn the Union of Britain. I mean, I, I mean, it's actually not a problem for us. You know what I mean? Like, what happens if, uh, if they're in the war? I think basically nothing. They're not going to go to war with us. Uh, we don't have any steel from you. And more steel from our ally and get some steel from the Russians? Me and you, Russia, are best friends. I couldn't just fight a war. It's how many days on you, though? Yeah, Ukraine doesn't want to fight a two-front war against us. Which I mean is understandable. But, like, I'm not happy with it. And we're still fighting against fighting against basically everybody. But if we can get a front line with the Commune of France. Yeah, we're at war with Germany. Of course we're at war with Germany. If, if we didn't fight Germany, eventually the German dogs would make their way and try to interfere with our politics. It's an inevitability. We can't allow that. Okay, Lafayette is immediately dead. I think Russia's forced peace here or something like that. I know, I, I think I actually just won their war. Oh, we're now at war with Ukraine. Okay. Be useful to me. I, you know what? I'm actually going to send these guys on very careful battle planning. I don't think I want anything too, too crazy. But the Greek army. Uh, I would like to request all your army. Because I can tell you right now, I'm going to be better. I'm. It's more important if I'm in charge of it than you. Uh, we're going to assign you to the green front, and you guys are going to be right here. And you're all going to deploy to that front, please and thank you. The Papal States game could be fun. We actually have already played the Papal States in the past. Venice has now fallen. Please do not move out of Venice. Planners Maloney is pretty close to dying. I would like some oil, which actually I can just get from my vassal state. Yeah, Romania, just give me like two oil. That should be enough for my uh my army, I would have to imagine. Oh, 
Albany wants to send me some units. Yeah, Albany, I'll take your three divisions. At least send you over to Blue, uh, Green Army as well. I mean, we're telling at war with you, but I'm not too concerned with that. If I can victory point... I mean, do we even need it? I mean, if, they, if the socialists take Milan, that should be the end of the Republic, I would have to imagine. Well, like, that makes sense, to me at least. How are you guys doing on this front? Uh, hold your position now against uh, Ukraine. Again, are you guys not very aggressive? Just be careful for now as well. I don't want anything being too risky. And once Ukraine's dead, we can definitely move over our units to be uh, much better than they currently are. We're going to send you over to the Green Army as well. For a unit from two Sicily. And actually, maybe even get like an encirclement against you. We can probably capitulate Austria quite easily. And when Germany has to fight, you know, on more front lines, that usually works out pretty well. I might even want to put Blue Army just to being in Hungary. But Hemi actually didn't join the war at all. Not even too. I'm not really too sure why, but. Biptic Raz. Fully push away towards Vienna. Again, killing Austria. Always nice. We're expecting the Entente will cooperate. That doesn't mean they'll be at war with us, I think. Okay, the game's going to slow down for a little bit. Is it going to be a long war? I mean, the French have already taken out South Lorraine. It seems to me like it's a pretty simple war. At least that's my perspective. We will take some blue units out of uh, Italy. I don't think they all need to be there. We're going up there. And we want to make our way towards Vienna. I don't know if Vienna will be enough to capitulate the Austrians, but it'll definitely get them close. Trying to push your forces against us. I mean, you're about to lose Sevastopol. The Russians are invading from the south. Russia, I will admit, is not doing as fantastic as I would like them to do, but, you know, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Bozon's worth one. Might need to take Liz as well. Where, you, where the hell do you think you're going? What the hell is that movement pla uh, plan? Just go up to Liz. Way simpler. More of the hell plan you're trying to do. Actually, this tank, just drive to Vienna. Go like this and then drive your way into Vienna. Seems like a solid plan to me. Uh, we'll get you, and then you're going to spy on German positions in Bavaria. Thank you very much. I've got artillery to be less dog shit. Maybe put some pressure on you. Yeah, we can, we can probably counterattack in this position. Just a moment. Then you, you can't actually attack like that, but you can. Uh, Blue Army is looking a little bit thin, I will admit. I think blue right now to stop attacking. Can we get Austria to dot? We actually still need more oil, really. Our Air Force right now is in Transylvania. They actually probably need to go a little bit further than that now. Go over Austria. Air Spirit. No, my units are surrounded. Uh, you, I need military access from you. You get military access with a socialist. We can move you here, and we'll have supplies. And having supplies seems good. 
Behemoths finally joined the war against us. That's fine. Join the international community. You should join the Russians. Because it helps me out. Oh, you actually made it there. Fantastic. You're going to be on this army. You stop attacking for right now, and you're probably going to need to fall back a little bit. But you can fall back into... into Italy. It's going to be nice if you could take Milan, but I, I can understand if you can't. We want war propaganda? Probably not. We also are not taking national focus. That's completely my bad. I mean, is Hungary close to being dead? Yeah, not really. We don't, they don't, we don't even have Budapest yet. But I think it's kind of like a prerequisite for them being killed. Okay, let's fall back. Old Venice. Okay, Japan's gonna war on the Germans. Okay, that's another guy on my side. Are you sort? Wait, are you circled? You are. Okay, that's that's less than uh, ideal. You guys, don't attack right now. You must be calling this to the war. I don't know if what Cuba does matters to us. And how is Russia doing? They're doing okay. We haven't really done anything against the Ukrainians, but, you know, you, you gotta do... You, no. It is what it is, I guess. We're at 79 against you. We're holding Venice. You might be dead. It, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I'm pretty sure. You joined the Reich's Pact? Poland, you son of a bitch. How dare you? You do this to me? Your best friend in the whole world? I'm appalled. I'm appalled by this decision, Poland. You will rue the day that you decide to join up with the Reich's Pact. And even though Russia is kind of doing a piss poor job. Um, let's put a little bit more pressure on Ukraine. No, that, I mean, if there's supposed to be an island here, it doesn't exist. I don't think the visual bug, I just don't think it's actually in Hearts of Iron 4. There were 98, 99, you've been pushed back. We want to take Venice. I think taking Venice would be enough to kill... I mean, where is Austria in this big list? Where, wait, wait, no, where is Austria? Oh, they're up there, the very first one. Okay, they're literally at the top of the list, and I missed them. Yeah, it'd be nice to kill Vienna. It'd also be nice to have more units. Hey, uh, Romania, those are my troops now. Thank you for your, I was going to say your sacrifice. I mean, I guess it is still kind of a sacrifice, depending on how you want to look at it. We'll sign them under this general. We're going to put you on this front. You guys will be the Red Army. Move out. Again, Orange Army just not, I mean, I guess there's a river here. And how close is Ukraine to being killed? Uh, eh, doing all right. I will admit I'm really relying more on the, uh, the Russians to deal with the, uh, Ukraine first, then... They'll definitely free us up some units. Anywhere that we could easily attack into? Don't really know. Don't really know. Hannah's gonna want the CSA. Seems like kind of a mistake on their part, but okay. Do I want these units here? No. 
Pull them back. Pull them back. Heal invasion of the AGNC. That is... Oh, you're invading roads? I don't give a shit. I thought it was something that actually mattered. The AI does love invading random useless islands. 